Today we're going to use proportions to solve problems with similar polygons. You know that the lengths of corresponding sides of similar polygons are proportional, meaning that they have the same ratio. When two polygons are similar, you can use those proportions to find unknown lengths. So if we look at this problem, it says, given the length of x, find the length of x given that the polygons are similar. So we already know that these two are similar, and therefore we can solve. Now, when you have problems like this, sometimes it's beneficial to actually redraw them so that they're facing the same side. That way they're easier to compare. So if I were to redraw this and rotate it, now I have two similar figures. And we can relabel it as well. So duplicating it and redrawing it can also help you when you need to find corresponding sides. Looking at both of these, we can now identify the corresponding sides. We have AB and EF correspond, as well as EH and AD. So when we set these up, we need to use those corresponding sides in order to give ourselves a problem where we can solve the proportion. You also need to decide which triangle is going to be on the top. So I'm going to say triangle, er, sorry, not triangle, this is a quadrilateral, quadrilateral, A, B, C, D is going to be on the top. And we will have E, F, G, H on the bottom. Now we're ready to set up our proportion. So we have 36 is our measurement for ABCD, and its corresponding side is X. So we have 36 over X equals, and again, I need to make sure that ABCD, my quadrilateral, the smaller one is on the top because that's the order that I've chosen. So we have 45 over the corresponding side, 75. So I'll go ahead and rewrite these where I can easily solve. 36 over x equals 45 over 75. Now there's more than one way to do this. Some of you might want to reduce this before you solve it. Others might want to just dive right into cross products. So we'll actually do it both ways. So we're here we have it rewritten. And we notice that 45 and 75 are both divisible by 15. So if we divide the numerator and the denominator both by 15, that is going to help us reduce it to 3 fifths. So now that when we solve, we have 36 over x equals 3 over 5. And we can use cross products or cross multiplication to determine the answer. You can also say, well, how do I get from 3 to 36? I can multiply that same number. So again, there's different ways we can solve the same problem. I'm going to use cross products in this case. So we have 3 times x, which is 3x. And we have 36 times 5, 36 times 5, that's going to give us 180. In order to isolate the variable, we need to divide both sides by 3, and we're left with x equals 60. Now, I could have just solved this problem, problem by just diving right into cross multiplication. And for some of you, that might be faster. For some of you, it might be faster to reduce first. But let me show you what happens. We would get 45 times x, which is 45x. And then we'd have 36 times 75, which would give us 180, then we'd hold our spot, 
which would give us two, 252, and then we would add and get 2700. So we'd have 45 times something is 2700. Divide both sides by 45, and we would still get x equals 60. So now we know the missing side is 60 meters. So again, using those ratios, using that fraction, you can determine the missing side.